So how about that drink? There's no freaking way I would ever go out with you. Wait, hold on. Are you, are you talking about dinner and the whole nine yards? Just stop it. It is OK if you're into me. I am not into you. Mm. Why don't you stop staring at my six pack? So I'm not getting fired. We thought this meeting was going very differently. You remind me of me, Alec. A loyal friend standing in the shadow of the chosen one. Let's get to work. Hell yeah. I already had the chip. I just needed one final thing. A neurogenic scan of you to perfectly replicate your powers. Neurogenic? It's quite a fancy word for a thief. Uh, yeah, maybe because I'm not a thief. I simply took back what was mine. Bring it on, Mark. If that even is your real name. No. Oh, Mark Blaine. Yeah, that was my name. But you can call me... Chill Blaine. I gave you my cell. You do know there's a difference between reaching out and, like, punching, right? I like this. Looks like we get to kick this guy's ass all night. It's okay to admit that you like me. <laughs> I'm a likable guy. No, you're not. I changed my mind. So you did like me. I guess that you're done with me. You're not going to let me spend the night, huh? Uh, no one's kicking you out. One little near-death experience. Are we becoming friends? You tell me. Well, you gotta admit, we do have explosive chemistry. It's kind of like sucrose and potassium chlorate with heat. <laughs> what a nerd. <laughs> There's Brian joining us. Uh, he's actually not gonna be able to make it. <sighs> what? Oh, oh, no, please. Tell me whatever it is you were thinking. Thank you. I just think it's a little fucked up that your fiance can't make it for your dad's funeral. What's he doing that's so important? Exactly. Probably nothing. What? He left me, okay? You still work here. Still, uh. You don't remember me. Oh, yeah, no, I, you I... <laughs> No, you don't. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just got your inventory report. Let's hope it's not intangible. Night, Jack. Thank you for all of your hard work today. You know, you're welcome, Kate. You have wonderful eyes. Hold the floor, would you? There's something really appealing about the business. Just the business? Well, the coworkers are pretty attractive, too, so that's a plus. Yeah, now that you mention it. My mom is quite the knocker. <laughs> Surprise! I was so focused on starting a career that I was blind to all of the amazing things and people that I already had right in front of me. It's something that I promised myself I wouldn't let happen ever again. I've also been wondering if maybe you'd be willing to take another risk. What's that? Leo, you know exactly why that girl had to go. You just didn't want to have to be the one to do it. So come on, brother, cheer up. She's dead, we should be celebrating. Right? You know, Chloe is always calling Jim, too. He's always telling him what a bad communicator I was. Not a hands-on father. She finally stopped seeing him two years ago. This is what she said. You didn't have time to get away, did you? This doesn't have to end badly, Jane. That's my gun. Not anymore. What do you think? You can process losing Frost in whatever way you need to. But as far as all of this is concerned, I'll count me out. Trust me, little girl. It's your best option. I don't know if you realize this, but my parents' house is on the line. No, she's I... almost 30 years old. She's still a difficult teenager. Yeah, she's got no job, no money, living in a fucking tent, decorating our backyard with her laundry like a derelict. I don't know what I was thinking bailing her out because right now is a really bad time for me to get this extra stress going on. None of us know what'll happen tomorrow. 
what we do know is that tonight, this Boma is full of smiles because of you. Is that a genome sequencer? I borrowed it. Whatever, Caitlin. Game recognizes game. This guy's having the most tremendous years. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm very proud of you. It's pretty beautiful out here. This place is everything to me. It's all that I am. It's, it's family. It's okay to be scared. But at some point, you've got to take a leap of faith, like I did with Frost and like she's doing with me. Trust me, it's the best decision that either of us have ever made.